Hey, everybody, how's it going? He's Robert Faringo. I'm Scott Spritzer. We are DocSports.com. Week 2 NFL action. We've got Tom Brady taking on his second opponent as a member of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on this report. We'll get to that. Uh, first quick note, yet to become a member at DocSports.com. Hey, don't sweat it, man. It's a great way to give it a trial run by simply clicking on the link below the video. Get yourself a free $60 account. You can use that on any of our daily packages at DocSports.com. If we get any fans in the stands by week two NFL, the joint is going to be jumping in Tampa Bay for what will be Tom Brady's first home start with the Buccaneers. Uh, Tampa Bay will laying a bunch of points, eight and a half at home to Carolina, total 48 and a half. And as of right now in mid-June, 55% of the ATS tickets are on the Buccaneers. Now, Robert, uh, I'm almost surprised that the number isn't closer to 60% as far as the amount of tickets that are on Tampa Bay. Not because I think they're a play right now, I might by September, but because it's Brady's first home game. And you know, every Joe who walks into a casino is gonna be thinking about Tom Brady's first home game. What say you, sir? Yeah, I'm I'm with you, but I feel like that number is gonna is gonna skew wildly towards the box the closer we get to the game. I think that the people that are looking at this situation right now, and it and for me it's less about Tom Brady and more about Carolina. I think when people look, just look on the board and see the Carolina Panthers, whether it's their season win total or whether it's their early week spreads, they're thinking of the Panthers as they have been for the last decade. Ron Rivera. Uh, Cam Newton, strong defense, real competitive, solid team. I don't think people realize yet just how bad this Carolina team is going to be this year. Okay, I'm not making a value judgment on Matt Rule long term. We'll see. Uh, I don't have a problem with Teddy Bridgewater, but this team is going to be a disaster early in the season because they have so many new pieces, so many new systems going on both sides of the ball. Uh, and they haven't had a normal offseason to work together and all get on the same page. I think the Panthers are going to be a mess early on in the season. So I'm surprised that more people aren't drifting towards the Bucs in this game just to bet against the Panthers, who I think are going to be one of the worst teams in football, at least through the first six weeks of the season. I'm going to whisper something that the books are already preparing for. Teaser, Tampa Bay. They're going to be in everybody's teaser in week two. Just check it out, watch and see if this one's nine or less. People are going to be teasing the heck out of them. Uh, this has a lot to do, by the way, this game with the Bucks results in week one, obviously, at New Orleans. They've got an odd schedule. The Buccaneers' first two-game homestand doesn't come until weeks 11 and 12. If they would happen to lose to New Orleans on the road in week one, this game becomes pretty big for Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers because of the way that schedule uh, plays out. So now, right now it's a lean to Tampa Bay, and i got to tell you, if I can lay two and a half or less on a teaser, uh, then I'm going to be one of those guys who's going to be tempted to jump in and tie them to a couple of two-team NFL teasers, Robert. Yeah, I don't see any way that this number doesn't make it to 10 just for that point right there, that the books are going to want those teasers to be either at the three or above it. I could see this number getting up to 10 and a half. It seems like a wild line movement, but to your point, yes, if Tampa Bay loses in week one, this becomes a must win, right? They're not going to hold anything back. But also think about it. What if Tampa Bay wins? What if they go into New Orleans and beat the Saints? Now they have a chance to go... 2-0 2-0 with two divisional wins the first two weeks of the season. I think either way, Carolina is going to take Tampa Bay's best punch, and I just don't think that they're up for it. Check out our daily packages, Robert, mine, everybody else at DocSports.com, and you can do so if you're not yet a member with a free 60 bucks. All you got to do for that free $60 account, click on that link below the video and give it a trial run. He's Robert Faringo. I'm Scott Spritzer. Check out all the Week 1 and Week 2 videos in the NFL. We are DocSports.com.